Here by popular demand, you guys have been asking Jay's two cents what my opinion is on the best mid-range graphics card. And today we're gonna take a look at the 7870 from AMD. In my humble opinion, one of the most important things you want when buying a graphics card is that all solid capacitor. Nothing's more annoying than that dreaded coil whine. I'm also a big fan of the MSI brand of graphics cards because they come pre-bundled with the Afterburner software and many of them give you over voltage control if you want to do some extreme overclocking. The specs on this graphics card are pretty impressive with a 2GB GDDR5, a 256-bit memory bus, and plenty of ports for different types of monitors, including mini display port, two of them, and an HDMI plus a DVI. Inside the box is nothing spectacular, we'll go ahead and set this aside. Underneath this cardboard flap you have a couple of your accessories, you've got the driver disc that comes with the... Uh, Graphics card, I recommend downloading a fresh one. You've got your user guide, your operating manual, your warranty card, and they also include a display port to HDMI adapter. Bravo MSI for including this in the box. Many manufacturers are not including this cable. Now let's be honest, you guys aren't here to hear me talk about specs, you're here to see some computer porn. So with that said, let's go ahead and undress this beauty and see exactly what she's flaunting. So if pretty hardware is what you're after, MSI is certainly not going to disappoint. Now don't confuse this with the twin Frozer, even though it looks a lot like it. It may have two fans, and it may have some heat pipes in there, but this is not the twin Frozer. One thing to keep in mind though is that hot air is going to be exhausted into the case as well as the atmosphere through the grill. Something that I do find a little bit unattractive on this graphics card though is that it does have brown traces on a black PCB. So it may be unappealing if you've got a case with a window or a specific color theme. And topping off the aesthetics, you've got an MSI imprinted right on the rear exhaust grill. Okay, you've seen what's in the box, you've seen what the card looks like, and you want to feel up on it. But let's go ahead and throw it inside of our build here and see just how this thing performs with our AMD 8350. Gives you the chills, doesn't it? This is a bad little card from MSI. The 7870, let's go ahead and talk about what we know. The card requires a 500 watt power supply with two six pin PCI Express connectors that supply 75 watts each. The core clock is 1050 megahertz and the effective memory is 4800 megahertz. And cooling is provided by MSI's dual fan setup, but remember, this is not the twin frozer. It's similar, but it's not the twin frozer. Performance is right in line with a mid-range card. We got a 7345p score, putting us right in the average for this graphics card. And this score was with all settings at factory. There was no overclocking applied whatsoever. Using the MSI Afterburner utility included with the graphics card, I was able to overclock to 1265 MHz and 1300 MHz on the RAM, yielding us an 8160p score and moving us up an entire bracket on the performance chart. Now one thing that is almost as important as how well it performs is how noisy is the card. The stock fan profile is pretty quiet, the fan never really got over 40% and the graphics card never got any hotter than 60 degrees. Now let's go ahead and take a listen to these fans when they're manually ramped up to get an idea of just how loud the fans can be. But remember, when gaming, they never got any louder than what you're going to hear on the very first clip.
So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, the AMD 7870 graphics card by MSI. This thing is quiet and it performs much better than I thought it would. This thing was pulling nearly 60 frames per second in the Unigen Valley benchmark on Extreme HD with anti-aliasing as high as it would go and tessellation maxed out. And on 3D Mark 11 we were seeing ranges from 45 frames per second up to 65 frames per second in performance mode. So if you're looking for a graphics card that's going to perform and not break the bank, check out AMD 7870. This thing is a monster. I'd like to thank you for watching the 7870 review by Jay's Two Cents. How many of you guys didn't know that I do tech talk every single week? It's a live show where I talk about anything you guys want to talk about. Bring your questions, ask them, and I'll answer them and do the best that I can. Sometimes I have a guest, sometimes I'm alone, but it's always a lot of fun. And check out some of my other videos. If you want to know why I'm smashing the hell out of a processor on the left, or if you want to know exactly what I'm talking about in the video on the right, how to choose a graphics card, go ahead and click on those videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. And again, put it down in the comments. What is it you guys want to talk about? I'll go ahead and do a video on just about anything because I'm just that kind of guy. I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on out of here, but go ahead and check out some of my other videos, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.